I always thought that the mini size, the mini Jodi, is a useless size, to be honest. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Ainora, if you're new to my channel. If you are my subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. I'm so sorry, again, I... You guys already know that I've been very busy uh, last year uh, and now I'm more busier with four kids now and I just I want to say that whenever I get time I do my YouTube videos and I, I don't know like last video was probably a month ago and I cannot keep up I'm really sorry I'm trying but whenever I have time I am here and but you guys can ch come and check me what I'm doing on my Instagram and recently I have done a little reveal on my Instagram story and some of you messaged me like is that a new bag and you guys were right I did get a new bag and I wanted to reveal today and it's from Bottega Veneta. I have been using already my new bag. It is not a unboxing, it is actually just a reveal because I got it um, roughly like a few weeks ago and um, sorry my hair is messy, I'm looking at myself but anyways I am... Um, I already unboxed it, I actually bought this piece uh, from pre-loved store and but it's it was like a almost brand new bag and I never thought I would be interested in this particular size but I'm in love with it and it is a Bottega Veneta Jody a mini size and this beautiful racing green it's called racing green and I think it is a seasonal color because I don't I, I looked at the website and I haven't seen particular this color and actually this is a older style the first style that Bottega Veneta did in the mini Jody is is this because it is it's a bit a little bit bigger than the current mini Jody the current mini Jody is like it has no like these edges it just goes like a really really round and a lot smaller it looks very very like much smaller I was always a fan of the first uh, mini Jody um, why I was a bag why I was a fan of it because I was particularly in love with this color specifically, always. I think this is a really great, beautiful green color, not too dark and not too light. It's good for all seasons. And I also like that this is a little bit bigger than the current Mini Jody. I just prefer this look better than the current Mini Jody. So yeah. That's uh, why I got this one. I am really loving Bottega Veneta now. And uh, you guys know I already have the cassette bag, the mini, not the mini, the small Jody bag. And I already have the pouch shoulder bag. And I think this is my fourth, my fourth Bottega Veneta bag. And yeah, I've been in love with the with their leather, with their understated um, design. And I've been loving their colors. They're very, very colorful bags. The next on my wish list um, is Bottega Veneta, like a purple color. They do such a beautiful purple colors, like dark purple, light purple. So I'm thinking um, if I'll find something I perfect that will really, really, really speak to me, then I will probably will get it. But for now, I got this one. It's such a beautiful piece. It has a golden uh, hardware and it has a big knot, which I love this knot so much. Uh, this knot is like a modern look. Uh, Motega Veneta used to do the Jody without a knot like this a long time ago like uh, you will see the vintage uh, vintage ones are without a knot but I think the knot just adds a really like cool design to the bag I specifically I love the Jody line because of this knot and interchiato leather and whoever said that lambskin is delicate, I was the, the person that hated lambskin and really was 
<laughs> because I didn't like the delicate, delicate look and delicate feeling of the bag. I am not somebody that will take care of their bag and will be like really afraid of using bags. I, I want to use all my bags. I don't want to be scared of using my bags. So I used to be one of those people that really was afraid of using lambskin or buying lambskin. I used to uh, really always prefer um, Safiano bag in Prada, caviar bag, uh, leather in Chanel. Uh, I don't know, like, I used to just really avoid lambskin uh, leather, but since I got a my Jody, since I got the cassette bag from Bottega, I was so surprised how durable the leather is. And I just love the feeling of this very soft and luxurious feeling. It actually really makes a difference. I've been really considering to letting go all of my bags that are not lambskin now. Well, I'm not, I did let go some, but uh, most of my bags are still not a lambskin, but I am being very, very a uh, big fan of let, um, lambskin now. And I always thought that the mini size, the mini Jody, is a useless size, to be honest. I was like, why do people love this bag? Why, why is there such a big hype around this bag? But I recently been in love with smaller bags. And because I have very little babies now, I have twin babies, uh, boys, and whenever I am going somewhere, I already have a diaper bag with me, a big diaper bag, and I need something small that I just can like put my things that are essential needs. And uh, yeah, I I mean, I have crossbody, like small crossbody bags, but when I'm like dressy and I want something small that just, just to pick up, I was like, hmm, I think Jody bag would be pretty good idea, I mean, option. And I, I got this bag from a local uh, pre-loved store. You guys know I am such a big pre-loved um, store lover. I do, I mean, there's, I live in Dubai and there's so many beautiful pre-loved stores and People sell their bags in a brand new condition, beautiful bags to local stores. And I love looking. I love finding something really cool that are already not in the current collection that have been few collections back, but I haven't had a chance to get it. So this is the bag that I wanted to get, but I was not really sure at that time i i definitely love the color i definitely love this uh, like silhouette but when but i wasn't really sure so when bottega veneta stopped this color and stopped this particular like uh, shape i was like I was really regretting that I, sh that I did not get this bag. I regret it and I was looking for it. I have been looking at different uh, like colors as well in this particular size, but I all, already was, but I always, I always wanted this color, racing green. I think this is such a beautiful color. Don't you agree? Yeah. So let's go ahead and um, show you what I have been carrying. This is also a great bag to pick up your kids from school. I have been using this like grab and go. It's such an easy bag. It's, it goes perfectly on the crook of your arm and it's just a beautiful little bag. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what I'm carrying. I did not Seriously, this is what I have been using past past week. I have been using this bag and this is what I have. It fits all of my essentials. So first thing here, what I have is my sunglasses. And these are from Celine. These are tortoise uh, brown and they are beautiful. They are my current favorite sunglasses. I've been loving them so much. And um, yeah, this beautiful brown color is just amazing. And I just love these uh, Triumph um, on, on here. So 
I just want to quickly show, I have a 13 Pro, this is a smaller iPhone, and I just want to show you that it fits perfectly in the bag. It will fit even with and everything in it, and also if I put my sunglasses, it will also fit, and it will also close, so it will fit everything. Your sunglasses, um, the phone fits there. And what else I have? I have my wallet, zipped coin wallet, whatever, card holder, sorry, from Louis Vuitton, this is in Caviar. I recently um, unboxed this and I've been really, really loving this so much. I'm so happy that I got this. I have a key clay or key pouch from Louis Vuitton and it has all my house keys and all that stuff. And the rest are, um, basically, I do not have time. I don't, basically, I don't have time to do my makeup before I leave. I mean, um, my life changed drastically from last year to this year. Uh, I had two kids. Now I have double, double amount of the kids I have. I mean, I had two kids, now I have four kids. So I don't have time to take care of myself mostly. I mean, I am trying my best to to get myself back into routine and everything, but to be honest, when you have twin babies, it's actually very challenging. And I don't have time to do makeup. Sometimes I just run out of the house. So that's why I really want, I really need to pack my, my makeup, essential makeup. This is from Gucci. This is Cushion. Very light foundation. It has an SPF as well. It's such a great thing to carry around whenever you have you need to touch up your face this is such a great light foundation and it has a mirror inside and it has a sponge already so you don't need to pack extra things around so i also cannot live without a mascara i currently have this uh, gucci mascara they match actually the the yeah it matches yeah <laughs> And I have a Gucci a lip uh, blush. It's not a, like a thick um, lip uh, lipstick. Sorry, it's very light lipstick. It looks like a, just a shine. It, it gives it gives you a little bit of color. And also loving this Gucci lip balm. It's such a great one. It's also it also has a little mirror. And um, whenever you are like trying to like touch up your lip you don't need like to grab another mirror it already has a small mirror like this so i really recommend this piece and this piece a cushion and i have this i also have a hair to hair clip this is such a great little hair clip i love the color as well and the last two things are also lip products. I recently ordered this Rare Beauty lipstick and it comes, sorry, and it comes with a lip um, pencil and it's from Rare Beauty. The color is called Humble and it's on my lips right now. It's a very, very nudie, beautiful color and I love the texture of the lipstick and the lip pencil. What I love is this lip pencil does not need to uh, sharpen it already. I do not like when lip pencils or, I don't know, eye pencils, I need to sharpen. I always lose a sharpener. My kids take my sharpener and I'm always like looking for a sharpener. So whenever a lip pencil or any like beauty product does not need a sharpener, I love it. So this is from Rare Product, Rare Beauty. and. Yeah, I highly, highly recommend this lip uh, product from Rare Beauty in the color Humble. I will also um, um, link it below. So yeah, the inside of the bag is same color, leather. And yeah, but the bag itself is small but mighty. It fits so much. You guys seen, I have so many things inside. Like, I'm amazed how small this bag is, but it fits so much. It's so surprising. I, I mean, like a Jody line from uh, Bottega just surprises me. I already have a Jody small in black, and that's like my everyday bag whenever I need to 
whenever I need to pack something more. I love my Jody Small. But this is like a very cute grab and go bag. And you guys know I love color green. I love color green in every shade, like from very, very muted green, light green to very dark green. That's like my favorite uh, color besides blue. And I've been really loving other colors as well, which I'm, which is very surprising for me. I've been loving orange, which is very, very weird because I never liked orange color, but somehow I've been loving orange. I have been loving colors this year. Yeah. So, yeah, this is my quick reveal of my bag. I It quickly became my everyday um, bag, quickly became my favorite bag of the month, probably. Um, are you guys interested of me doing a a monthly favorite bags or things that I have been loving past months or something like that because I have been see seeing a pattern here and there I have been seeing that I love things uh, that I used to not like so maybe I should do a video of things that I have been really liking uh, past few months let me know if you guys are interested so I just want to show you how this looks on me I used to think that Mini Jody looks hilarious on me, but to be honest, it doesn't. It's such a cute little bag. It doesn't look too small. It is small, but it's such a, like, it fits. It actually looks great with, like, summery things. What do you guys think? This bag you can only carry on the crook of your arm or just handheld. You can also wear it as like a pouch like this, which is really cute as well. If you are like going out and you need like a clutch bag, this could be a clutch bag as well. But for my, my favorite way is just carrying on the crook of your arm. You don't really, really feel that this bag is like on your hand. It's such a like fuss free bag. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, I always thought that I need a crossbody bag, that my bags have to be a crossbody, that's it. But lately, after getting few bags, shoulder bags, I realized that I don't need all of my bags to be a crossbody bag. Some bags, some, sometimes I feel like I need a little cute bag, you know, and a little cute bag are not always a crossbody bag. So this is why, like, I already have so many crossbody bags and that's why I am shifting my liking to a, like, a handheld bag, uh, on the crook of your arm bag, cute little bags. So yeah, for that purpose, this bag is so great. So that's it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming back and watching my videos. Thank you so much for commenting, for big support. Yeah, I really, really will, would try my best to do more videos. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.